Before getting into the detail of each and every single SPC control chart, we're going to present you this decision tree that's going to help us in defining which chart we should be used to solve a specific problem. And essentially this decision tree is designed to differentiate between measurement and counts and according to the number of samples we have available what is the best chart to be used to look at the data. So measurement will be classical measurement like temperature, pressure, uh, dimension, anything which is a value while counts will be a number of default per piece of equipment or a percentage of faulty devices out of a number of sample. So if you have a measurement depending how many samples you can get from 2 to 9 or from more than 10 or sometimes we just have like one sample at a time so you need to plot every sample you get so n equal equals 1 and then you have non-normal data as we said that's something you should be careful about or you have normal data then you can have a x control chart and this is really what we said we need to have a normal distributed variable to be able to plot as a control chart individuals so n equal 1 the number of samples and on the count side you can count pieces of unit or just occurrence so one is going to be a number of default the other one is going to be a percentage and then those charts will be kind of different and we'll talk about them later. 